there has been a lot of debate on the pricing of XRP over the course of many years. Through pricing behavior that has been both sideways and downward, XRP has been able to relist on all of its exchanges, despite the fact that it has been subjected to assaults from the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. In light of this, it is clear that the war was fought effectively and was eventually worthwhile. The one who is speaking believes that by the time the price volatility is gone, none of it. It will matter because we will either be right or wrong. This is the reason why they are speaking. Any volatility in terms of volatility will be rendered irrelevant if the price reaches a new all-time high and XRP enters the price discovery phase. This is because that would make any volatility useless. In addition, Mirror, a well-known cryptocurrency expert, has expressed ideas that are akin to those regarding the fluctuations in the price of XRP. According to a headline from Crypto Basic, which he cites as evidence, a leader in the cryptocurrency market who is known for its volatility has stated that price fluctuations are no longer significant because the speaker does not have any prior expertise in the subject of finance, they are unable to provide any kind of financial advice. On the other hand, some individuals find it enjoyable to create films on YouTube about crypto-related topics as a hobby and for their own personal use. A reference is made in this article to Brian Brooks, who was the chief executive officer of Bitfury in the past and also temporarily held the position of chief executive officer of Binance. XRP is something that Brooks is a staunch advocate for, in addition to being a person with a high IQ, he has been quite active in the Bitcoin sector and has. He been involved in a lot of different activities. Additionally, he has pointed out that fluctuations in the price of XRP are not significant signs of a fundamental problem with the company when it comes to the business. When one takes into consideration the metrics that are significant in terms of the long-term health of the platform, such as the increase in the number of wallets, one may have a higher level of faith in XRP. During the year 2017, there were fewer than 700,000 accounts for XRP. Nevertheless, as of this moment, there are more than 5.2 million. As a further point of interest, the number of developers, use cases, and other components that contribute to the growth of XRP is growing. As a conclusion, the speaker believes that the price volatility of XRP will eventually become unimportant by virtue of the fact that we will either be correct or incorrect due of its long-term durability and the possibility of adjustments in the market the individual who is speaking emphasizes that the viability of xrp over the long term is more important than the fluctuations that occur in the short term this is due of the fact that the market is subject to possible adjustments in light of these considerations the author argues that holding xrp presents a promising prospect for financial investment I believe that the price wings of crypto assets such as XRP are approximately as tiny as the early volatility of Google stocks, said to Brian Brooks, who was the previous chief executive officer of Bitfa. Equity markets tend to move in tandem with cryptocurrency assets, and there will always be a certain degree of volatility in the market. This is the reason why this is the case. As this asset class continues to evolve, a number of cryptocurrencies will see growth, while others will face a downturn and be handled differently according to their circumstances. When it comes to market capitalization, XRP has maintained a position that is consistently among the top 10 digital currencies. It is a currency with a huge capacity. If the price of XRP falls in a market that is not particularly crowded, this does not necessarily mean that there is an issue with the cryptocurrency on the market. There is still the chance of hitting a new all-time high once every four years in order. To attain this milestone, despite the fact that it has taken six and a half years to get to this position, the other ones have not yet arrived, despite the fact that the last one was overlooked because of the nonsense that was provided by the SEC. It would appear that we are on the edge of one, and the pricing action that has occurred in the past is immaterial to the situation at these times. The author emphasizes that the Bitcoin market is still in a state of tranquility, despite the fact that it took about six and a half years to be at this position. There is no indication that there is a problem with this coin based on this information. The author is of the opinion that the excitement around cryptocurrencies is an indication of the anticipation of the opportunity that will come in the future, and that the price action that occurred in the past is meaningless for the duration of a presentation that was held at the Aspen Institute. During his presentation, Brian Brooks elucidated the underlying purpose of cryptocurrencies and their potential to supplant centralized financial institutions with decentralized networks that prioritize user autonomy over control by bank CEOs. According to him, the majority of people have a misunderstanding of cryptocurrencies, and they believe that the success of cryptocurrencies is dependent on their ability to replace fiat currencies like the United States dollar. Particularly with regard to the fluctuations in the value of digital assets such as XRP, 
Brooks made a compelling parallel between the early volatility of Google stocks and the price swings of Bitcoin. P. Compared the two in equal measure. It was pointed out by Brooks that cryptocurrencies are more equivalent to investments in internet stocks in the future of digital and decentralized networks. This is similar to the manner that one would buy in Google based on the assumption of increased internet traffic. They are investments in the progression of the internet in the future. In addition to this, he stated that prices are not that significant because Google's volatility was extremely high in the early days of the company. Moreover, it was not merely a measure of the extent to which Google was likely or unlikely to achieve success. He made this statement because prices are not of the utmost importance rather, it was more so that it was obvious because Google's existence is something that is consistent with the situation. In addition, Brooks noted that the price swings that have occurred year after year over the course of the past six and a half years, even after the all-time high that was reached in 2018, did not ultimately matter because none of them were an indicative of whether or not the thesis is valid, which asserts that XRP is a viable investment option in the long run. The market moves in tandem, and the assault by the SEC is one of the things that would kill practically. Any cryptocurrency with the greatest ease, the market moves in tandem. The possibility of XRP reaching a new all-time high or reaching zero is not even remotely imaginable. Both of these goals are not attainable in any way. The industry that deals in cryptocurrencies is of the opinion that the fluctuations in price that take place in cryptocurrency markets are of secondary importance to the primary objective of these marketplaces. As well as the fact that the volatility of cryptocurrencies like XRP has a little impact on the overall significance of these markets, in the event that this were not the case, XRP would not be among the top 10 currencies in terms of market capitalization, especially following this attack. There is a golf clap right there, people, and one receives a golf clap because of it. If this were not the case, however, XRP would not be among the top 10 coins in the market. In a nutshell, this is one of the things that has the ability to eliminate virtually all cryptocurrencies with a relatively low level of difficulty. Now, there is a really significant possibility that XRP may eventually reach a new all-time high in enterprise discovery. This was previously thought to be impossible. This will continue to be the case so long as we continue to observe the market really expanding. There is a correlation between the movements of the market, and if this occurrence takes place, the market will have the potential to experience additional phases of boom and bust. The capacity of cryptocurrencies to take the place of centralized financial institutions was emphasized by Brian Brooks as the presentation came to a close. He stated that this is the true worth of cryptocurrencies. With decentralized networks that put the individual sovereignty of users ahead of the control of bank chief executive officers, the early volatility of Google stocks was compared to the price swings of digital assets such as XRP or other cryptocurrencies, and he presented a convincing analogy between the two. He said that the market moves in tandem and that the volatility of cryptocurrencies like XRP had no impact on the overall significance of these assets on the market. He also stated that the market moves in tandem. The value of a company is established by the market, which takes into account external factors such as the utility of the product and the degree to which it is adopted. Neither the phenomenon of broad euphoria nor the infusion of capital into the company are created by the same forces that are responsible for the yeah. phenomenon. The existence of a foundation makes it possible for money to enter the company, regardless of whether the company is ranked among the top 10 or is considered to be garbage. The organization should make the most of this wonderful opportunity that has presented itself. Despite the fact that it has been a challenging journey, the speaker is certain that the organization is on the right track. As more money enters the market, they believe that it will generate a rising tide that will lift all boats, including XRP, and they anticipate that this will occur. They believe that this will happen. The fact that the utility of XRP has persisted